Let's just do a little bit more on the product of two binomials. I just want to draw your attention to one little pattern, and we'll come back to these many, many times over in the next while. But um, if you just have x and a number in your binomials, mostly you're going to end up with three terms in your final product. So if we have a look here, right, just again, how do we do this? Make sure we multiply everything in first bracket with everything in second bracket. x times x is x squared. Then I go to x times minus 2, which is minus 2x. Then I do 3 times x. And then I do 3 times minus 2, which is minus 6. These two are like terms, so I'm going to have x squared plus x minus 6. Here's the interesting one. Again, nothing different to start, just make sure I multiply everything with everything. So x times x is x squared, and then x times minus 3 is minus 3x, then plus 3x, plus 3 times x is plus 3x, and then 3 times minus 3 is minus 9. Here's the interesting bit. There are your like terms, but when you add together 3x and minus 3x, right, you, they just cancel each other out, and so you just end up with 0 for that. And so you get x squared minus 9. And in this case, you only have two terms. And this is the special case of when you have, it would be similar if you had x plus 4, x minus 4, or x plus 5, x minus 5, or in fact, x plus a half, x minus a half. And I hope when you were trying out the exercises, you weren't fooled into making the mistake that so many people do when faced with something like this, and just say x squared plus 3 squared is the answer, which is x squared plus 9, because that is totally and completely wrong. Because what does x plus 3 squared mean? It's x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 3, and so we need to do it in the way that we always do, and we'll get x squared plus 3x plus another 3x plus 9, which is going to give me x squared plus 6x plus 9. So just watch it, right? Do not make this mistake. It's very easy to fall into that trap. Now that you've got good at multiplying out, you can tackle a monster like this one. Now before you tackle it, please remember my suggestion where you've got minus signs, just take note of them because it's so easy to go wrong with them. And in particular, this minus sign here goes with everything that comes after it here. So I would actually say to you, put this in brackets and deal with it. And then once you've dealt with what's inside those brackets, that minus sign will then have to be brought in. Okay, Try it, see what you can do, and we'll go over it afterwards. Pause the video now and try. All right, so hopefully first bit was quite easy, right? You just need to multiply in. Minus 5x times 2x is minus 10x squared. Minus 5x times minus 3 gives me plus 15x. Now, taking my own advice, I am going to just deal with everything in those brackets first. So x times x, x times minus 4, and that normal multiplying out, making sure I multiply everything in first bracket with everything in second bracket. So I get x squared minus 4x minus 2x plus 8. I then just combine my like terms here, and I'm going to get x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now I'm going to deal with that minus sign, because that minus sign has to go with absolutely everything that's in here. So I'm going to have that it is going to be minus x squared, then the minus goes with this minus, minus times minus is plus 6x, minus with this 8, minus 8. And my very last step is then to combine like terms again. I've got a like term there and there, I've got a like term there and there, and so what I'm going to get is minus 11x squared, 15x and 6x is 21x, and then that little old minus 8 at the end.